Hi friends, time to revisit two positions that are competitors to each other that have both been in my portfolio for over a year now and still are there. Private Presence, GEO Group and Core Civic. Before I forgot to mention, I almost doubled my Core Civic position just recently and Core Civic and GEO now carry roughly equal weighting in my portfolio. For more in-depth introductions and analysis on both, check my older videos and now we're gonna see what's up with them currently. I have re-evaluated both of them now and I have actually lifted my fair value estimates up for both. For 10% expected annual return, uh, for 10% expected annual returns, I had GEO Group in $13 and Core Civic in $18 before in their fair value. But now for me, GEO is $17 and Core Civic $20 of, of fair value. Both trade, in my opinion, in the levels where I would be very intrigued to add to my positions, which I already did with Gore Civic, as I told you. Before I talk about why I feel there is quite deep value being offered now in both of them, let's talk the risks first. These are private presence, hated industry, and very much in the mercy of US politics. Biden and the Democrats would like to end their business, so these investments carry huge political risk. Position yourself accordingly once you have done your deep dive analysis. Yourself would be my, my advice. Now the big picture still is this. Government owned presence are very much crowded and getting old. GEO and Core Civic's presence are younger and as far as I see it, needed by the government no matter what they say. As an investor, I don't really care whether the government is buying services on a continuing basis from these two or whether it does not want private operators anymore in this industry and decides to acquire ownership of the presence of these two as assets, as long as the price they pay will be good of them. I don't go in this video now to the ethics of investing in this industry, as I have done it already before on my channel, but everybody watching this can probably agree that no society on earth can operate without presence. Presence are necessary for societies everywhere, you need them to exist. So. If you don't want to invest in private presence in the United States market, don't do it. Uh, myself, I see these as necessity products, to put it really shortly. Moreover, there seems to be signs that some presence these two own are marked in their books with lower valuations than what they are actually worth. Huge catalyst for the stocks if they start selling presence to the government. Um, that are marked cheaper than they really are. These two are free cash flow positive and trading under book value. Both have huge debts, which is the main risk on top of the political risk uh, for both companies in this environment of rising interest rates especially, but both have also rearranged their debts to be paid much later than before and thus seem not to be in danger of bankruptcies. Although they need to pay higher interest rates, interests, which obviously is not optimal, but this rearranging of the debts was the only right thing to do nevertheless. Once they pay down their debts, they can start buying back their shares or even start paying dividends again after terminating their REIT statuses earlier. These are, these are catalysts for both stocks. Geo carries maybe a bit more risk because it's a bit more in depth than Core Civic. This is one reason why I only added on my Core Civic position as I watch both close now for additional buying opportunities. Also, Republicans more in power in the future could be additional catalyst for the stocks, as they, I mean, Republicans don't see these companies as evil as Democrats. And finally, there is uncertainty around lifting, lifting of the Title 42 border legislation in relation to COVID. But once this happens, the situation at southern border might get worse, and GEO and Core Civic's help is increasingly more needed by the government. Right now the lifting is expected to happen May 11th, but may be postponed. Lifting is another possible catalyst for the stocks also here in the really short term, I guess. To me, these two seem very interesting deep value plays. As said, I feel like I have been buying them even under liquidation value. So losing my money with these investments seems like a far away for me. And I see lots of upside for both. Of course, there are risks as we already talked, but this is how I see it for now, for myself. Additional, additional bonus would also be short squeeze with GEO that remains still heavily shorted with 21% short interest. 
In the latest filings, Geo Group still remained Michael Burry's biggest position, even though he sold 50% of his earlier uh, of his position earlier, probably with good profits already. As we saw the Geo Group stock going pretty much up uh, during the recent times, right before the la the latest earnings when it sh when the stock declined, but it seems that Barry was. Uh, selling his 50% of his positions before that last decline, so probably made good profits. That's what I mean there. Well, remains to be seen what Barry does in the future, but one needs to remember that Michael Barry changes his positions around a lot, so copying him is very difficult and probably not advisable in my opinion. Although I say this, I have seen people in my circle of investors who I follow, who are also owners of both companies, Geo Group and Core Civic. But if I would see other super investors on top of Michael Burry to start buying these stocks with insiders of the companies buying too, and finally on top of super investors and insiders of the companies, if I would start seeing US politicians uh, to start buying these stocks, imagine that as a signal for an opportunity to buy, because I think, um, as said, it's pretty obvious that the US legislators are probably pay, paying close attention to matters uh, of these two companies to this industry. So imagine if you would see some politicians in the United States starting to buy uh, Geo Group or Core, Core Civic on top of maybe insiders buying and maybe other super investors too on top of Michael Burry buying. That would signal an opportunity for, if, opportunity for me and I admit that. I would probably now, after doing my deep dive analysis, of course you want to do your analysis and all these things I just mentioned, uh, other people buying the stocks comes only after that. Well, after I have now done my deep dive analysis and followed both companies, I would be very intrigued to add to my positions, let's say so. I am paying close attention to these things. Now, subscribe to the channel for future updates like this and thanks for watching this one, thanks for liking this video and I see you in the next video. Bye bye!